The American Heart Association HBCU Scholars Program really developed organically. As we look at addressing health disparities in our community, it's really important that we have representation from those communities that are most greatly impacted. Everybody knows about AHA. Even if they don't know what it is, it'll still pique their interest and be like, what American is Heart Association HBCU Scholars? Right. That in itself is a powerful statement. Uh -huh. be like, American Heart Association is like, okay, if you don't know what it is, you can kind of get there. And it's like HBCU scholars. So it's this organization and them putting value and putting interest into HBCUs in itself. Right. We really chose the HBCU Scholars Program as a way that we could introduce the American Heart Association, its mission, the problems that we're trying to address in minority communities with young people. The younger voice is important, so like programs like this give younger people like us um, the knowledge to go ahead and say, hey, you know, cardiovascular disease is like really important, even though a lot of people know, not a lot of people do anything about it. So just that younger voice being out there saying, hey, guys, we need to fix this problem, it just means a lot to the whole community. There is so much untapped talent in our country particularly with young people. And it's hard for them to find ways to access the careers they might want to achieve until they've actually been able to partner with somebody who is doing what they want to do in the future. Being in this program, it helped me solidify like what I want to do after I graduate. How can I change these policies so that they're beneficial for you know people like me and everybody else. All throughout my life I was like hey yeah I want to go to medical school and to some extent I'm still saying the same thing. To some extent I'm like I want to go to medical school I want to be the surgeon and I'm just glad I found out that you know with a biology degree I don't just have to be in the lab I don't have to be in the hospital but I can go ahead and try to make um, the policy better to benefit all people. Actually, at Tennessee State University, we did not have anything in biomedical research. So I know that it is helping them to formulate their career focus. We're talking about future leaders. We're talking about people that come from the very communities that the AHA is, is constantly thinking about trying to improve the health of. This gives us the opportunity to be leaders and to step up and to be the first ones to, you know, address the issue and try to solve it and see what can be done in the city. It just opens the door for that. Mm -hmm. Opens the door for actual change and not just statistics. And mm -hmm. everybody knows the statistics. It give, it, it's really giving us the opportunity to be the change and make the change. And see the change, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. As a mentor, we have learned um, to allow them to just soar. Uh, they bring so much to the table. Mentorship is really being able to provide individuals with support, the, the kind of unconditional support that, that, that we all need. All of the mentors in the program that I have met are truly dedicated to educating and nurturing the strengths of their students. I was fortunate enough to, you know, have a caring mentor. She was very caring of me in my time and helped me to grasp the concept of public health because I'm also a biology major and I've never taken epidemiology, biostatistics, or public health, but she really made it more, you know, understanding of public health because that was my, my, what my research focused on. I'm going in not knowing what we're going to be talking about. I don't know anything about cardiology, cardiac world different words like that, I was like, I don't know what I'm getting into, and she made me feel comfortable with the information and with the field. One of my mentors in graduate school was very active in engaging underrepresented students in our laboratory and in science. And I remember she said that we needed all opinions at the table and all types of people working on the problems because they were too complicated for any one person or one type of person to figure out. People tend to be scientists and, and contribute to areas about which they are passionate. So students who have come from families who have suffered in many areas of cardiovascular health will be more impatient getting the answers. We know that healthcare disproportionately impacts, uh, especially underserved communities. 
And in order for us to really be able to improve health outcomes, research is really going to be the key to really being able to provide specific answers. My mentor taught me not to look at the numbers as numbers. The numbers are very compelling. The percentages are very compelling. You see an improvement, you see this happening. But remember, these are people and there are factors that also contribute to what's going on. It's important that diverse voices are a part of this conversation because people from different backgrounds have different experiences. And so when you think about diversity of thought, that says who's in the room when solutions are being talked about, what conditions are they considering, and more importantly, the experiences of a broader diverse group will say we've thought about more things than having limited diversity. This program granted me the opp another opportunity to see the world and seeing people actually do work and actually make it through and, you know, their experiences, that's really, that's really enlightening. It gives you kind of hope for the future. We want others to join us in this, uh, join us in this mission to create opportunities for more students at more HBCUs so that we can have a national uh, HBCU Scholars Program. The broader the cohort, the more likely the cohort will be self-inspiring and self-sustaining for the future. There is a lot of capital in our communities. Uh, these are the best and brightest that we're helping to support. This is really the pathway by which we are really going to be able to harness that intellectual capital. It's really our goal, using a number of mechanisms, to be seen as the trusted partner in this space so that we can convene and bring together the stakeholders necessary to push the ball forward.